Commercial vehicle fleet managers are required by law to track various driver and vehicle behaviors. Beyond the data logging mandated by law, there are other behaviors that employers might want to track. We will create a Twilio-powered co-pilot that uses off-the-shelf components to track and log the following data. Miles driven, hours of uptime downtime, locations, average speed, average acceleration rate, driver aggressiveness, fuel consumption. Building this device requires some knowledge of the C programming language, microcontroller basics, and GPIO wiring. First, prep the Multitech breakout board. The breakout board is what allows us to interface the microcontroller to the Freematics OBD2 unit. To save some space and reduce the bulk of our final device, we removed a few features, which you can find detailed further in our instructions. Next, we will prepare the microcontroller, which contains all the computational hardware for this device. This involves inserting the Twilio SIM card, then placing the microcontroller into the appropriate receptacle on the Multitech breakout board. Flash the microcontroller by connecting to USB ports on the breakout board and the microcontroller itself. Prep the 3D printed body for assembly by driving the three brass threaded inserts into place. Now you're ready to place the components into the 3D printed housing. Place the GPS antenna, adhesive backed wireless antenna, and breakout board into the enclosure as indicated in the instructions. Refer to the diagram and wire and connect the components accordingly. The Dragonfly is an embed supported hardware platform which allows you to compile for it using the online embed IDE available at developer.embed.org. After creating an account, open the compiler window from the menu bar at the top of the user home screen. Import the embed project into the compiler using the import button at the left of the project page, or create a new project and import the individual files into that new project. If you import the project files, make sure you add the MTSAS and embed libraries to your project. Be sure to select the MTS Dragonfly as a target platform in the upper right corner of the embed compiler window. Hit Compile, which will generate a file for download. The initial attempt will fail because the MTSAS library is missing. Push the Fix It button next to the error to prompt the embed compiler to automatically locate and import the correct library. The next time you hit compile, it should succeed and will generate a file for download. Either save this to the new USB drive associated with the Dragonfly device or copy from your downloads folder into this drive. For further reference, check out the GitHub page. In addition to wiring the Freematics unit to the breakout board, we can add several ports for additional GPIO function. There are three bosses at the top of the enclosure that are designed to accommodate three pin Molex C-grade connectors. The plastic housing can be glued in place for any wiring configuration of your choosing. The top of the closure also has the ability to accommodate a status LED. Place the acrylic faceplate over the device and then tighten all three thumb screws. And you're done! By placing your co-pilot inside a vehicle, you should get accurate and timely insight into the driver and vehicle variables we outlined at the beginning of the video.